this glass. What do you see inside it? Many of you would probably say that it's empty. However, it's not. Then what's inside it? There is air inside this glass. Yes, air is present everywhere around us. But tell me, is air heavy? We generally feel that air is light in weight. How true is this? Let us do an experiment to see how heavy the air is. Take a bottle filled with water. Now take a piece of cardboard and place it on the open end of the bottle. Hold the cardboard with your hand and invert the bottle upside down. Now take off your hand from the cardboard. What did you see? The cardboard sticks to the surface. This is because the air's pressure is pushing the piece of cardboard in the upward direction. Does this mean that air is heavier than the water? Well, the air is present everywhere and hence it's exerting pressure from all the directions. Clearly, the air pressure is more than the pressure of the water inside the bottle. And this allows the piece of the cardboard to stay on the surface of the bottle. With this activity, we can understand that air exerts pressure. You may note that the air pressure acts in all directions. Do you know why? It's because air is fluid. The molecules of air are very loosely held and hence they can easily move in all the directions. We all know that the earth is surrounded by an envelope of air. Do you know what it's called? It's called atmosphere. And this atmosphere is divided into different layers as shown in this image. What can we say about the air in the atmosphere? The air in the atmosphere exerts pressure on the earth or we can say on the earth's objects. What is this pressure called? The pressure exerted by air is called as air pressure or atmospheric pressure. Now the question is whether air pressure is uniform throughout these layers of atmosphere. Think about it. Where would the maximum quantity of air be? There is maximum air above troposphere. There's this much air above the troposphere. Then this much air above the stratosphere and this much above the mesosphere and so on. So as we move upwards, the quantum of air decreases. Now logically, can you tell me which layer carries the maximum air pressure? Yes, the bottommost layer carries the weight of the air present in all the layers above it. And that's the reason why the air pressure is maximum at this layer. And what can you say about the air pressure at the layers above this point? The air pressure decreases as we move higher. Does air move? If yes, what is it called? Moving air is called wind. Have you ever noticed the speed of the wind? What happens to the air pressure when the speed of the wind is increased? We will find out the answers to these questions in our next lesson.